professionalism. What it means to be a professional within different fields can vary. Um, of course, one of the main things is that you're representing the company appropriately, um, that you're doing the job that you're supposed to be doing, those job requirements. Um, something that we have to consider now within this current um, world that we're in is how social media can play a role in how we are able to portray ourselves as professionals. There's all different types of social media. Um, I have some, some pictures here and, you know, within a week, two weeks, a month, a year, what's popular for social media can change. But what we have to remember is that as a professional, we do represent the company where we work, whether we have it posted on our social media site or not. Um, and so we have to remember that posting something on our social media, um, tagging something, that kind of thing, we are still representing our company. Um, in addition, sometimes when play, um, companies are interviewing for positions, they'll ask for your social media um, names, your tags, um, that kind of thing. Not necessarily to go and see everything that you have in there. So if you have your account set as private, then maybe they won't see things, but they do wanna see what kind of things do you have out there as public. Um, we can all go through and find different um, news articles or videos of what's happened when somebody had social media and they tagged where they worked and how that influenced their work environment. So we just need to be aware of that and how social media does play an influence on how we can portray ourselves as professionals. What kind of pictures are we putting out there? What kind of images are we putting out there? What are we saying that could possibly be misconstrued? I'm not saying that we have to limit what we say, but we just need to be aware that what we do say is out there for the world to see and it can affect us professionally.